Welcome to Loveless Academy, third module of Bluetooth Experience. In this module, we're gonna start our first web app application using PeerScript and Nix. We parameter against the we get node type constructor getting uh, the we get here, okay, and the children of that we get. So, for example, if I'm passing a form, for example, with get, we would have like children of that form, okay? That we need to also render then each one. So, we need somehow to render the current node element with get and also its children, okay? Um, So we we must have a way to to render each element here. It, it's gonna be the 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 we get right. <coughs> so we need to render this guy here and. Let's say that we have already rendered some the HTML for the children. So I pass this here. So in this case, this render element should be a function like this. Render element taking with get and returning, actually taking with get, taking uh, a string, which is going to be the HTML, right? And also, And returning um, HTML, okay. So render element. We need to implement this function. Oh, we'll do ver this very soon. But we still need to get the CT to pass this HTML here. And this HTML is also, like I said, just a liar to string so just to so we can know that okay this is a HTML we can also use the same type here so we have everything which is just a render HTML being this HTML so we have this render function which is supposed to get the widget get here of the current node and the HTML HTML of the children, okay, how I had rendered. So we need some some way of iterating over each um, each value of these children, okay, which as we know it's an array, uh, and I also need to import that array. I was forgetting that. Let me import that. So let's create this CT. So we need to get CT into something and we're gonna call this in this function, okay? So what is going let's think about the CT. We need to iterate over children and uh we need somehow we need to to call some function that takes an element of these children like if we have array here it should be a with get node okay so we can recursive call this render function so we need somehow to have something here let's call this something something that takes the render function and some children right which is array of read get node so let's try to look for something like that. Remember, we get uh, ch uh, children are array of we get nodes, okay? And render is act this function here, which receives each we get node and returns the eight m l, okay? Let's look for that. 
So we have array of something, right? This is this children being passed. We need to return um, some value here. It can be string, it can be anything, but it would be helpful to be string, but we can transform values. It should also receive a function that takes this element of the array, right? And returns the same value that we are returning here. So it must somehow receive a function that takes this e and returns something of the same type of this b here. So we have a way of getting e from from the array to render, you know, and return this rendering conclusion here. But there's a problem. Um, we don't know if this value is accumulating, you know. Let's look for this thing. Let's see if we have if we find something. We have fold map. Which is really close, but we have a problem. Is which value is going to be the last one here? I mean, we are not like merging them together, you know. We are transforming values from E to B and returning a given B, but which one is going to be that? It's going to be the last one. It's going to be like a result of concatenating all Bs from all returning b's corresponding for each e here no there's not a simple way to do to know that how we could do that uh if you're coming from javascript and probably many other languages you have this concept of a reducer a reducer allow us to pass uh, an accumulator to the function. What this mean? We can pass a new type here, like a new value here, like a new value here, for example, uh, I don't know, C, and the returning, we can pass like C here, and instead, we beyond passing E here for each array, we can also receive the C here. So what does this mean? We can, in the return of this P here, merge together or add this E to the C. So, for example, if this is a string and this is a string, we can append them together to create this B value here. This is called a um, reducer, or in Peer Script and Haskell terms, a fold operation. And if you take a look at this type signature, you're probably going to find those fold L, fold R here. So in the case of arrays, we have a here array, so it can handle arrays, okay? You can see this strictly the same thing with different ter terms. So we have this E here. So if we pass an initial value B here, this value is gonna be accum accumulated and we can sum together the current B, uh, the current E from that array and this initial B, we can sum them together and return in this new b here so if this b is a string this is going to be string and this is going to be string in the string and we can like append them together with that append operator we saw before to return a new b so i would i would, I would use this because this is a lot simpler to understand uh and we can use that right now to create our iteration over this a uh, children element where we want to accumulate all, all children into a single 
HTML, which is just a string. So this is strictly the same thing that we have here. So how how we could that we can try to just put this fold l function here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Fold l, and this is from as you can see here data array. So I can use this fold l function. And the last argument here is the the array so we have the children here this is correctly okay the this b is the initial value we can see uh, yeah there is not explanation about how fold l works but let me see if we have something here so you can get it yeah there's some explanation here that you can find useful but let's keep going here with our type signature so we're gonna pass a b value so uh let's say that our initial value is just an empty string and we're gonna like append values to this empty string as we go on each children element okay so there's one thing yeah here that we need to pass so we pass the children which is this array e okay inside of this children we have with get node so this e here is with this e here is is the with get node and this e being with get node which is this guy here and this b being 8ml is strictly the same thing as render so i can just pass render in replacement of this function here this those arguments so the only missing part here is the b so i can inline a function like this corresponding to our b so let's say this is a cumulator and we can recursive call render and append the previous value of that accumulator with this render function right but there's a problem. We can't just append them together here because render is a function for we get node to HTML and we are not passing those values here. So we could get these values here, for example, the current, for example, and um, the current value here, and we could, which is the, just the we get node here, okay? And we could pass to the render here that's a way of doing that but we can also use composition to simplify things here so i will simplify things here placing I will simplify things here, copy and paste this here, so we can remember where we are before, okay? And inside of the place I have removed it here, I'll pass a new function called fold accumulate. The, the name does, does neither really matter. And I'll pass a render function. So we need to figure out how to implement this function key here, okay? And Let's keep in mind this type signature, which was the one for for the fold function. So, what do we have in this fold accumulate accumulate function? We just need to pass with get node here, right? To eight ml. This is gonna be our render function, okay? And the returning for that, or the next argument of this function, is going to be the accumulator here, right? This e ECC value. What is this ECC? Is this guy here, the amp string, right? 
So this guy here is 8ml. We can also check this by the type signature here. We can see E is the same of the given array E, which is our children. So if this children here is array E, we have array with get node. So this E value here, sorry, sorry. This B value here is the same as the one being passed here. And because we are passing empty strings here, we're going to have strings here. So this value here is the accumulator, which is corresponding to this value here, which is the, just the first one. And then we're going to iterate and accumulate that. So this is going to be like an 8ML for the children elements being rendered, okay? Accumulating this 8ML. Uh, the next value then is going to be the value inside of these three children. As you can see here, this value here is this value here. And this is array E and children is array with get node. So this E is this with get node. So what do we have in this E here is a with get node. Okay. And finally, we need to return this B, which is the same type of this. So if this, if it should be the same type as this B, which is, is this one being received here, I can guarantee this is, so uh, the remaining value is this B here. So if this B value is this guy here, it means that we need to return this B, the accumulated value, so it's a 8ML, right? So let's try to implement this function. So let's say we have function fn, which is this function here, okay? From with get node to 8ML. And we have a given S, which represents this 8ML here, which is the accumulator, okay? So we need to return a function from with get node to 8ml, which is basically the same as this function here. But the difference is that this value here is not being accumulated, but this should be accumulated. So what I should do here? I will use a composition here. So I'll call this fn and I'll pass to this fn the 8ml. So I'll, I'll use the pipe operator, which is basically a composition reverser. We're probably familiar with. Uh, and I'll get the output of this given function here, which is 8ML, and pipe this output uh, into a new function that should append with the current value. So in this case, I'll use this, which is the pipe function, right? right? So I'll call, I'll call this function, passing this with get node, okay? This function should return an HTML. This HTML is going to be piped into a new function. And I can, you can ask me what, what, which function should be that? You can just leave this placeholder here and try to <laughs> figure out what, what is that. But we need to, we know that we need to somehow use this uh, value here. So we need to kind of use this function, this value here in this function, right? We still don't know how, but we need to use this function here. So let's see what we're going to have here. We have some kind of bunch of errors here. We need to import those modules, so let's import that. Uh, we need to use maybe and we need to use arrays. Let me see if it's correctly. Yeah, it's arrays. So whatever you're going to use a uh, module, you can just remove this peer script and use only this part here. This is a standard. 
So this is the, the module name. And uh, we need to close things and open again. So because we have updated the flake, Nix flake, upgrade the Nix flake. Okay, we ha we we have this Nix developer open dev again. Done. Now we have some some error here from type declaration permission should be followed by its definition. Oh yeah, we still have we still need to define this. Let me use a placeholder. For a while. Okay. I believe the type array comes from prelude. Fix here. Okay, maybe. Yeah, it's native. Now we need to have this name type. I was missing this. This, like the other one, is just alias for string. We also need to import this pipe operator. This comes from Prelude. You can see the type signature of pipe operator. It's really, it's a bit complicated, but uh, the idea is having two different functions. You pipe them together, okay? So here we have the render element, it's a tape hole. Okay, we are looking for the queue. Okay, we shouldn't have the queue, so I'm gonna do this, I skip this and place the placeholder here so we can see this error here okay so we have this queue here so we know that we need to apply this s which is going to be like the accumulator initial value which is just the string here and we need a kind of appendant together in this queue function here right with the given value according to this function here so if you look here the key has the inferred type of string string and string and this give it even give us a suggestion on what we can use and if you take a look here you're gonna see data same group a pen e to e to e which is strictly the same so if you take a look at this function on the pursuit, let's look at it, let's look here, a pen function, you can just use that. But if you take a look here, pen, you're gonna see there's an alias for that, which is this operator here. So this is the pen operator you're pretty familiar with. So how do I use this here in this case? I can place here a pen function like this, passing the S type, and this this works. I can like show you data sam group pen. This is gonna work. I mean, it's not that one. It's a pen. Look, it works. It works but I can also to keep things more you know explicit maybe I could replace this a pen with the usage of the function a pen 
passing only one argument, fulfilling only the first one. So, because this is a liaise of a pan, we, we are passing the first argument only, and this returns a function from E to E, which corresponds to respecting function of this pipe operator. So, in this way, we are like piping the eight, each 8 ML being passed here to the append function on this S. So, the returning function should now append all with get nodes to the given 8 ML. Okay. Now, we still need to rend uh, create this render element function as before. We can remove this and we need to define now how to render the element or the width get, right? So for the render element, we will receive here the element, which is the width get, okay? And the 8ml of the content of that, of that width get, okay? So what is going inside of this tag, okay? So if we have a tag here, which corresponds to input, a uh, form or anything else, we need to, to get the, the, the content of that you know, and do something here to return this given HM, render HML, right? And I will keep patternating this EL against the type constructors of widget to know what kind of element we're talking about. So uh, the first case I'll handle is an input that has some given type T, maybe a name N, okay? and some label, that's the first case, which is the first type constructor here, okay? So, in case of having this, we should return, I'll create a new function here to help us to handle the rendering of that, of that tag, and this function is gonna be tag. I don't know how I implement that, but we figure it out. And I'll pass as, value of this function, I'll pass as argument of this function the content of that given tag, okay? So in this case, the content should be the label append together with the recursive call on that element, but with an input that ha has not any labels anymore. So I mean like a recursive call this to handle this edge case, ad case, you know. So in this case, we're gonna pass the same input T and N, but in place of the label, we can remove that now, you know. And because the render element requires the second argument, which is the content, I need to pass here, what is the content of this input now? And uh, as far as I know, inputs does not allow any content, so I can just pass empty strings here, okay? So in this case, I'm, I'm getting out the label from the input. Uh, I'm passing, I'm appending this as content of the tag function that I will create soon to render and handle the, the, the tag creation with you know, the, the operators and so on of HTML syntax. And the 
second argument of this tag is the tag name. So in this case, we're going to use label uh, as tag name. So we are creating a tag with the content of uh, the tag name here, which is maybe name. Oh, sorry. Uh, with the content being the label, which is there, of course, you need to pass a label uh, to the input. So uh, one must pass label here, and this label is going to be the content of the tag. Then we append with recursive call of a render element, creating a, a clone input without uh, any label. And uh, the second, the second argument of this uh, tag function should be the name of the tag, which is label. Then we we still need to pass to the tag function uh, attributes that tag, okay? Because we can build tags with many attributes, but in this case, we don't have any kind of attributes to pass to the la label tag. So I uh, just use an empty uh, array here. But we could, you know, pass. And uh, expected this function to return a tag in the string format. So it should return that here, okay? I'll use this placeholder here so we can know that we need to implement that yet. We can see there is an error because we need to, when using parameter, we need to match against all possible variations of that. One variation is this, this one that it, we just we just use it here, right? So which is the the label being e empty, and this, in this case I, I want an input without labels, so we need to handle this case where we have empty here. <laughs> 